Hello and welcome everybody. First of all, congratulations on passing the CCNA exam because you passed the exam. Of course, you are now searching how to obtain the digital certificate or the PDF format certificate. In order to obtain the CCNA certificate, you need to wait at least three days until receiving an email from Cisco telling you that you successfully passed the exam. I know you may have the score report after finishing the exam telling you that you passed the exam, but this is a preliminary result, which means it is just a notification that uh, their records indicate that you passed the exam. But in order to uh, perform a quality check on your answers and so on, they need you uh, or you need to wait for three days till confirming that you passed the exam successfully. So in order to take the certificate, you might I receive in the email the steps needed to achieve or download your version of certificate. But uh, for the sake of the time and to simplify the process, we are going, I'm going to take you through the process for obtaining your PDF certificate. So what you need to do is to open your browser and open Google website and then search for search metric, then add keyword system. And choose the first result, which is Cisco Certimetrics.com. Open this uh, result. And in this result, you need to log in. If you don't have an account on Cisco yet, you need to create a new account. Then confirm this account through the, the email that you registered on this account. And the most important point in this part is you need to register your Cisco account with the same email address you, you registered with on person view or you uh, scheduled the exam with, which you mean when you schedule the exam on person view, you uh, of course put an email address. Use this email address to register with Cisco website as well. If you didn't use a Cisco e uh, an email address during registration, then uh, you probably need the uh, score report which you received from the test center after passing the exam. The score report sh should look like this, and all what you need is the registration number, which is hidden by this candidate. After uh, logging to the website, so assuming that you already have an account and you uh, already uh, activated this account, the process of creating an account is very straightforward. So I, I guess there will, be, uh, there will be no problem in creating an account. Then you will redirect it to the home page or the first page in metric. And as you can see here, it is indicating that it's my first time in login. What I need to do is to insert the email address which I registered the exam with with person view here. And if I, as, as I said, if you don't have the email address, you need to add your last name here and the registration number, which can be found in the exam score report, then hit submit. After hitting submit, you will be redirected to the certain metric uh, final page. And uh, in this page, uh, regularly, you, you will have uh, the first page will be the certifications, personal info, testing history, and certification. What you need to uh, enter is a certification. And once you enter to the certification field, you will find the list of exams that you already passed. And you have an option and interesting option to download the PDF certificate here, as well as many logos to put it in your email signature or in your CV. And as you can see here, we have the active when, when did you pass your first exam and the last extension, when was, when was the last time you uh, passed the exam and what is the expiration date of this particular exam. Note that every Cisco certification has an expiry, expiry level of uh, like three years and for specialization exams, we have two years. Uh, so you need to renew your CCNA before this date. Uh, by the way, uh, th that's all about the cert metrics and how to download the BDF certificate. You need to press here in order to download your BDF certificate. But what if uh, you need another option to get the certification, which is the badge? The badge is a new way to express that you have a certification and there are many vendors or many websites that offer you the digital badge benefit. One of these uh, websites or uh, uh, these authorities which is provide, uh, authorized by many of the vendors like, uh, like Cisco, like Trust, uh, uh, like uh, Fortinet, and many other vendors is Credly. 
what you need to do with Credly is you need to create an account with the same email that you created an account with on Person View and on Cisco account and on Cisco Certimetric account. After creating an email, after granting you a certificate by Cisco, Cisco will notify Certimetric that if you have any candidate registered with this email, please grant him a badge for CCNA, for example. As a result, as a candidate, you will get this badge in your uh, Credly uh, profile, and this badge will provide uh, good information about uh, what, what is the uh, entity that issuing this badge, uh, what what are the skills you you learn it through your journey in order to learn this badge, what was the cost, uh, what what was the curriculum, or what, let's say what was the content of the exam, and what was uh, what is the most uh, demanded job titles for people who uh, have uh, or who has this badge. So Credly is an interesting feature that will allow you instead of uh, get, uh, attaching your uh, PDF certificate your, with your uh, resume, uh, you, you just add the uh, URL of your Credly profile in your CV and uh, the HR will uh, then uh, use this URL to access to uh, your page or your personal page on Credly and see all badges and or, or all certifications that you already have from all vendors that are uh, participating with Credly to offer digital badges. So uh, that was all for uh, this video. I hope this video was uh, interesting and uh, provide an ad video for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and share with anybody who might be interested in this topic. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye-bye.